When you host an online meeting, polls is a great way to interact with an audience. In this video, I am going to show you how to set up polls using Zoom and to make the polls very efficient and effective during the meeting itself. Let's get started. The first thing you want to make sure is polling is enabled in your Zoom account. So let me go to Zoom and sign in to my account. Please note that polling is a feature only for pro accounts which means if you are using a free version of Zoom, you will not be able to run polls during the meeting. To enable polling for your account, we first click on settings, and then we scroll down till we find the poll option. By default, this is usually turned off. You want to make sure that it is enabled. If you can't see the polling option, it means you are using the free version of Zoom. Now that polling is enabled for our account, we can now go and schedule a new meeting. To schedule a new meeting, I will choose the meeting options in my account and then click on schedule a new meeting. Let's give a topic for our meeting. Let's call it my test meeting. For polls. And I will copy and paste the same text in my meeting description. Next, select the date and time for your meeting. So let's say it's today and maybe at 4 30. And the rest of the settings I will leave them as they are and then click on the save button to save my meeting. Once the meeting is saved, I can go to the bottom of the meeting and I will see now that the poll is enabled. It's a good idea to set up your polls before the start of the meeting. This will save you time during the actual meeting. To create a poll, I can click on the add button which I see here. And let's say for this meeting, I'm going to hold two polls. One to choose the best speaker in a Toastmaster meeting. And let's say the second poll is to choose the best table topic speakers, or we call them impromptu speaking. So let me set up the first poll and I'll click on the add button. And I need to give a title for this poll. So let me call it best speaker poll. And the question that I will put is, choose the best speaker. Now let's say there are three speakers lined up for this meeting. So let me type in their names. John Smith, Tom Cruise, and Andy Samuel. So I have typed the three speaker names and now I can save the poll. Let me create another poll to choose the best table topic speakers and I will click on again the add button to create my second poll for table topics and the title will be table topics speaker. The question the audience will choose see is choose the best table topics speaker. The only problem in table topics, of course, is I don't know who will speak. Normally what I do in such cases, I create a poll with dummy names like the speaker 1, speaker 2, speaker 3, speaker 4 and so forth and I will save it. Now my meeting is set up with two polls ready to go. Let's assume that it is now time to start the meeting. So I click start this meeting and it will launch my Zoom client. 
And as you can see at the bottom of the screen, the poll option is already enabled. And if I click on it, I can see that I have the poll for the best speaker and the three names that I had put. And if I click on the arrow which is here, I can see that the second poll is also ready. And if I choose that, I have speaker one, speaker two, speaker three, and speaker four. So my polls are set and I'm ready. Let's assume that all three speakers have spoken and they have all qualified for voting. All I need to do now is click on the polls and it will bring up the poll for me. So I have the poll for best speaker set up. And all I need to do now is click on the button launch polling. And the audience will now see the poll on their screen. And let's say somebody chooses John Smith and submit their response. I can see the voting as it happens in real time. I will give sufficient time for all the attendees to submit their vote. And when I'm satisfied, I can end the polling. Now we can choose to show the results to the audience. But ideally, especially in a Toastmaster meeting, it's not a good idea because a person who did not get any votes will get disheartened. So my suggestion is to note down the best speaker and then message the results to the Toastmaster of the day. What happens if you want to create a new poll while you are in the meeting or if you want to make corrections in your poll that you had set up before the beginning of the meeting. Take for example the table topics poll. I had set up dummy names, speaker 1, speaker 2, speaker 3 and speaker 4. In reality during the meeting, let's say only three speakers spoke and I know their names. So in this case, what I need to do is I need to edit this poll. So I click on the edit option. Unfortunately, Zoom doesn't take me specifically to that poll that I need to edit. So I have to click on the X button to close this window and scroll to the bottom where I had set up my polls, the best table topics. And I can edit the poll. Note that I cannot edit the best speaker poll because that poll is already ended. So let me choose the best table topics poll and click on the edit button. Now I can quickly put in the names of the three speakers who qualified. So again, let's say it was John, Tom and Henry. And there was no fourth speaker. So I will remove the name. And click save. That's it. If I now go back to my Zoom meeting, the three names now appear on the screen and like before i can now launch the poll and wait for the audience to choose the best table topic speaker and as the results start coming in they will be updated on this window in real time again once i end the polling i can choose to either share the results or note down the winner and communicate the results to the Toastmaster of the day. So there you have it. Polls to make your next online meeting look professional. All the best.